All right. I uh, want to welcome you to the uh, October meeting for the Open State Energy Commission. Sorry, we're a little bit late, but we've uh, uh, we had an executive session and we uh, we just uh, uh, got out of it. I'd like to, uh, if we could, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> okay, the first item is the uh, uh, Approval of the uh, minutes. All of you have copies of the minutes. Are there any uh, changes or additions or deletions to the September uh, minutes? I, I, I second. Minutes stand approved. Are there any changes uh, to the agenda? No, no changes, then we proceed. As far as the uh, reports is concerned, uh, the township, Carl. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The township board uh, understands that the Commission has completed the wood chipping on the trail across from the Meridian Elementary School and that that went very, very well. The trail's in excellent shape and I've encouraged everyone to go out and take a walk there, park alongside Meridian. You see where the path is. It's about uh, two thirds of a mile and in the next week or two, three weeks, it's just gonna be beautiful with the fall colors when the leaves finally start changing. I encourage everyone to get out there. It's been a very dry, last month, month and a half, and the trail is in excellent shape. Go out and use it. It's yours, you've paid for it, you're paying to maintain it. Please come out and take a walk, it's worth it. Uh, the other thing is that we are continuing negotiations for property acquisition. Currently looking at interest in uh, four different properties. We have received some responses from two of the uh, property owners, and uh, we are continuing to pursue that. Dale Ream is doing an excellent job and uh, would look forward to uh, reporting back with uh, some offers here sooner than later, but it is a slow process. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Bert from the uh, Nature Land Conservancy. Our annual meeting for Grozeal Nature and Land Conservancy is Saturday, November 11th, um, 10 o'clock at the Grozeal Golf and Country Club, so all are welcome to join us. Thank you. Anything else, Bert? <laughs> Leah is not here with the Recreation Commission, but she has submitted a um, the minutes of the uh, uh, Recreation meeting. I, they are progressing uh, with their uh, uh, with their programs. That we have a new. Uh, Director, and uh, I, is there anything that uh, any? No, I have uh, no new information from Rec, other than the fact that uh, the director Kim O'Farrell is doing a very, very good job. She has a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of great ideas, and uh, has been very involved in reviewing all of the projects and all of the interests that uh, comprise the Rec Commission or the Rec Department. And uh, she was actively involved with uh, Paint the Town Red and uh, just did a great job there. And uh, it's a learning experience, but for the first time, uh, I think it went very, very well. There were a lot of positives. There were some things that they can certainly do better. Um, Angela Sukakis did a tremendous job there too. The two of those ladies worked together absolutely wonderfully like uh, horses in a team. And then you throw uh, Chad Novak on top of it with all of his energy and a few other uh, people that uh, I'm not gonna mention, but there are a lot of people that are involved, but you put those three together on anything and they really make a party. And uh, I thought it was very successful and uh, they're looking forward to doing it again next year. Thank you. Please. Um, Very 
very involved. Uh, she lives here. She has uh, roots that are going down, certainly not as deep as yours, Pam, but she is uh, very, very happy to be here and has said so on numerous occasions with a lot of enthusiasm. All right, next we have the uh, Gross Hill <coughs> Schools. Mitch Lewis is not here tonight, so we will dispense with the uh, school report. Uh, the uh, Beautification Commission. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, if you notice the southwest corner of Four Corners, there's a new piece of, um, uh, not really statue, it's kind of a um, swinging um, object in the midst of the shrubs and the flowers. And it's a tribute to Art Kester. We wanted to do something to pay tribute to his long years uh, as chair and tirelessly working on weeding uh, the beds there. And um, so it's going to have a little plaque on it to dedicate it to the long service of Art Kester, our former chair. We have one new member and we have an opening for a second new member. Hopefully somebody from the community would like to join us. And right now we're working on spreading mulch in three of the four corners and pulling out the summer flowers. A lot of them are, didn't make it through the fall. And Brian Medved, who's our chair, removed the flowers at the entrance sign as you come onto the island and replaced it with mums and added some pumpkins. So it's got a nice um, feeling of fall and Halloween. And um, uh, I'm working on uh, awarding businesses on Macomb Street a beautification ward. It's a, um, a decal they can put in the window saying they're helping to keep Mac Macomb Street blooming and beautiful. And um, we give these every year. Uh, we gave the, the decals last year. And then I'm doing a final summer, end of summer inspection of the street and there's some newcomers that didn't earn a decal last year. For example, the hardware store has really gone all out with hanging baskets and uh, wildflowers surrounding the building. So uh, some uh, other businesses have joined and will be awarded a beautification award. Those that got them last year can keep the same award. Uh, I don't think we'll ever take one away <laughs> because once they're into um, planting flowers and pulling up weeds and getting rid of litter, um, they can keep their decal in their window to say that they're part of keeping Macomb Street blooming and beautiful. And that's it. Okay. Thank you, Pam. Um, as far as the uh, Bike Path Commission, um, I don't have the uh, the minutes here handy from the from the bike path, and I'll be including some comments uh, uh, in the minutes uh, for the uh, bike path commission. I know that they were very active in the uh, uh, paint the town red uh, over the past weekend. As far as uh, there's no buddy here from the public, so we'll dispense with the public comments. Uh, we have the Dump the Junk program, which is uh, right, uh, uh, right on us. Uh, Woody, would you want to report our progress on that program? Not bring railroad ties. You cannot bring certain things. We don't take the electricity. We don't take the paint. We don't take the stuff. Everybody knows what you're not to bring, but don't come and con try to con us. Like we, oh, we can use it this way. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, that's it. Now, Woody, is there, are you uh, completely uh, comfortable with the number of volunteers that you have for the uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday? I don't think so, but we'll, we'll fly it. All right, if you need some help, let us know. If the oh, on the board, no one to come. And we have some other people they come all the time, and uh, they help us too. So uh, sometimes it doesn't work out well, but we try. Um, I know that there's been some uh, interest, uh, some concern about the weight limitations. Uh, 
I think we're pretty well comfortable that we won't have a problem with that. Uh, uh, Woody, I think you received a, uh, a report from uh, waste management stating that there was yeah, only... We, there was only, uh, last week, or last year, we only had one bucket, we'll call it, was over. The rest were all under, some are way under, so uh, I think we'll be okay. I agree. I think that you know, it was over by what? Four tenths of a ton. Yeah. It was, uh, that was one. There was one that was. Uh, uh, the rest of them are all halves because you, you, you get the, you get the uh, wood, not the plank wood, but the, the trees. You got a lot of space in between that, that stuff. And uh, instead of having 10, well, because here's an example, 10 pounds, we got four. So that's where it is. Uh, that's what it was, four or five. You know. Yeah, and for that reason, that's uh, what Woody has said is that as far as the railroad ties, which are not allowed, cement bricks are certainly not allowed. It's because uh, <clears throat> they're heavy, first of all, and the, the, we are concerned about the weight restrictions. Anything else, Woody? No, uh, let me just jump right into the other thing I do, the, uh, writing the thing. As, uh, the welcome letters? As, have you got the stuff that I'm supposed to get? Yes, we have. Uh, I have additional uh, uh, open space guides. We got 250 more copies. I had them delivered this week. Where are they located? They're located in the DPS department. Okay. How much, how many welcome letters did you send out last month, Woody? I think it was 12 or 15. 12? Okay. Yeah, when they, when they, when they, they, when they come up doubles and they keep people keep moving around, I'm not sending it out twice. They shouldn't take it for granted what they're supposed to do. Uh, we still have people, people dumping stuff in the john. It's not supposed to go to the john. But they keep on doing it, and uh, the guy who's at the end of the bucket, he's the one who has the problem. So and internally, we have the problem because we have to pay more money to, to eliminate it. Right, as far as the ferry trail issue is concerned, uh, we just uh, we had, we had a meeting in which we we discussed that issue at length. I won't go into the details, but uh, uh, Bert, uh, you want to give us a real kind of a quick summary of uh, where we stand on the on the uh, ferry trail? Well, we're still very committed to finding a solution for the ferry trail issue so that um, residents can traverse open space and then find another way to get to Ferry Road. Discussing with property owners along Ferry and looking at our at our options. So um, we want to assure people that we're still um, very much focused on this issue. Who has contact with the bicycle people? You mean the Bike Pass Commission? Oh, the bicycle people. The bicycles. Bike, oh, you call it bike path? Okay. The bike path people. You have a, them? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you something to give to them then. All right. Okay. All right. All right the next one is the status of the trail maintenance work. Uh, as Carl has indicated, the uh, uh, <clears throat> Manchester Trail has been completed. And uh, they will be working. Uh, uh, ENT is starting to work on the uh, Centennial Farm Trail, and I don't believe they've started on the uh, playscape as yet. Uh, well, it or looks like they? yeah, it looks like uh, they've done the majority of the trail. It's wider now because I mentioned the last meeting that it was there were parts of it was like a, a one-person trail, like mm -hmm. an Indian trail. Uh, but uh, in my last inspection, which was just the other day, um, they've got chips on most of the trail. Um, I had to pick up a little bit of litter, uh, but that wasn't bad. But right at the entranceway uh, next to the playscape, 
there's no chips at all. But there's a huge pile of chips to the side of the walkway coming into the playscape. And if they can just uh, do the missing section, uh, that would be great. Uh, do they do it immediately after notice, or do they? I think you told me that uh, I could just give them a call and ask them to, to spread some of those chips at the entrance. Yeah. Uh, there's a little uh, walkway over a drainage ditch, mm -hmm. and um, right at the entrance, it's just a little bit of weeds and bare uh, ground. Right. But oh. then, once you've gotten into the trail, then then it looks like they've done a lot of um, spreading chips there. I'll give TNT a call tomorrow and uh, ask them to take care of that issue. Mm -hmm. Looks like it wouldn't take a lot of chips, but it, it is bare right to where they laid down the chips. I don't know whether they got stopped in their progress or what happened. But All right, we'll take care of that tomorrow. Good. Okay, um, I uh, have something that it's uh, uh, asking now, just, just for informational purposes here. If you want to. Pass this along. This is kind of, let's say, a very summary report of where we stand to our budget. We developed a budget of $41,000 for the uh, uh, open space uh, maintenance program. Uh, to date, we've spent about $13,600. Uh, the best estimate for completing for the rest of the year, and this is just a guess, is about $22,000, so we plan to end up favorable to our budget for the current fiscal year. Any other, any questions or comments? If not, I'll so Woody, why don't you announce the dates for? 14th and 15th of October. Everybody got that? 14th and 15th of October, nine to four, not nine to five, nine to four. Let me just mention um, on Saturday, October 14th, the Wayne County Hazardous Waste, Household Hazardous Waste Program. <clears throat> They're doing a collection at um, Wayne County Community College. So our residents should be aware that they can drop off their junk, you know, including potential treasures for other people to take home and dump the junk, but anything that is a household hazardous waste should be taken to the Wayne County Community College. Um, they're only going to be there from 8 to 2. Okay. That's and, and, and if you come in 202, it's gone. You're done. Okay, so that's 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. sharp. Woody, do you have uh, uh, copies of the flyer for the hazardous waste programs at Wayne County Community College? Uh, they should be available for us uh, for handout at the Dump the Junk program. I see what the. Uh, if I believe Donna out. Depa has copies. Does she? I believe she does. We'll make, up, we'll make extras, and then we'll hand them out. We're going to hand them out. Ma'am, do you have anything? Hmm. Uh, do they take electronics? I've done these. Do. Me. do they take electronics at the hazardous? Is that considered hazardous? I think they do. I think, but I think nobody takes TVs. So it's kind of a an iffy thing. Um, your best bet is to look up on you know on the internet in Wayne County household hazardous waste to find out exactly what they are taking and not taking. Okay, Bert. Anything else? Pat. Anything? I no, nothing. Woody? Nope. No, sir. Carl? If not, entertain a motion. I move that we adjourn. All those in favor? Yeah. Right. 
Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.